What's up guys? Welcome back to another video. Hope you're all doing well today. I've got a very, very exciting track slash free ride area for you today. This is a track created by J Mertz and B Clay, like a bit of a joint effort going on. And this is a track very closely based off of the 2020 Imagination track. Now it's going to be releasing on the shop this Saturday, I've been told. So it should be the same day that you're seeing this. And I've been fortunate enough to get a day's early access to make this video for you. And it's just... You'll see in the video, it's a very, very fun, flowy track. The track itself they actually got some real life height data from an undisclosed location in Kansas. And then uh, Mr. Clay and Jay Mertz have kind of worked together to see this through to tuition. It's been two years since the start of the progress uh, project, that is. And it's, it's not been a whole two years solid. It's been on and off, worked in stages. And it's a really, really good fun track. For you free ride lovers, you're going to absolutely love it. And there's actually starting gates on this track as well. I think there's nine or so in total. So if you want to go and get some whip trains going with your mates you're, you're more than able to do so and there should be a few lines that you can make up on your own or you can just follow the actual track itself there is a pre-determined layout for you to follow and it's just so much fun i really really enjoyed it i hope you enjoy the video let's get into it right so what i would like to do throughout this is if i to put the map on real quick you can see at the top right there is a like a pre-designed layout of this course essentially that they would like you to follow to do a quote-unquote lap so i'm gonna flow around try and get a little bit of a flow going and do a full lap of the course and then once i feel like i've got a nice flow and i know all the sizing of the jumps i'm gonna kind of try and edit together a few clips and see if i can get some not not third person in this regards but you know like actual footage and not put an edit together as such i don't even know if i have any uncopyrighted music but i'll certainly try my best but for now what we're going to do is you're going to go on board with me this is a very wild looking bike by the way i downloaded a full axel hodges replica and it actually looks pretty nuts is you're going to go on board with me and we're going to learn the track first and foremost so let's have a little bit of a flow round i imagine that these jumps probably feel quite just quite right in terms of the scaling being told to ride a 450 tells me that some of these boys are going to be absolutely huge a hundred percent i need to wheelie this or tire tap it let's, let's try let's give it our best shot up onto the back wheel oh perfect see i'm, I'm channeling i'm channeling my inner axle and then get all famous over the tree line jump lovely stuff and we've got an inside and an outside here how big do we want to go oh it's a pretty that's a pretty big one hang on up Yo, yeet. Toss us. Oh, we've gone way too deep. Way too deep. Holy moly. <laughs> okay. Right. Check up on that one a bit more. Maybe do it from the inside. I feel like inside might be the best option. And then, yo, yeet. Uh, well, that was pretty damn perfect. Uh, what have we got? Oh, my. Okay. We've got a, a quarter pipe here. Or a half pipe. Whichever one of the two. Yo, yeet. I can't see myself landing this. No. I, I, honestly... Those uh, those pipes in this game, I feel like they're very, very luck-based. The physics really don't like going like that inverted or off a model like that. But I might actually end up skipping that when I get to it. So I don't think it's going to be worth it. How's this bad boy looking like? Oh, okay. Big old sender. Nice. Good to know. So I can just hit that wide open with no issues at all. And then when I was flying around, this looks almost like a bit of a, a super crossy type section. And then we go, oh, hold on to it. It'll triple, double lovely into a nice small double a little bit of a step up and over hold on to her and then i guess you know i can quad all the way over that entire thing or go on off if i want to might be able to get another tire tap going off of it got here big step up to the right and a little double hook round to the left i love these ones where they're kind of almost like bowls and they flip you from one side to the other what have we got here? So we've got a jump on the left where you double down. And then another little hip trap. There's there's a lot going on here. There's a lot to unpack. Looks like many, many options. So I could go left and hit a little jump there. I could go right and hit this sort of like transfer, I guess. Or I imagine I could probably jump over to the right hand lane as well. Oh, I need to need to ring up K dub, ask him for his advice, see what see what lines he would and wouldn't take. Then I guess this is the finish line jump, maybe? I mean the pit board is oh the pit board's there. So that's that's good to know. So that is that is an a lap, essentially. I know it's not a track by any means, but my inner racer's coming out here. One thing I do want to say that I absolutely love is to my left there, you see there's about nine or so start gates. So if you wanted to, 
you could uh, load this up onto a server with a bunch of friends and just go around hitting whip trains all day or backflip trains, whatever it is that you want to do. And I just feel like that's really cool. I don't, I don't think the so the last big free ride area that I played was the name escapes me. It was on the shop. I can't remember what it was called now off the top of my head. But I don't think that had start gates at all. I know it had normal pits and stuff, but not in like a a race sense. So it's, it's nice. It's just something different, something extra. And uh, weirdly enough, you could, if you wanted to, I know it's not designed for it, you could probably end up trying to go for, for fast laps around this whole place too, where there's fully working timing gates. That'd probably be something that I'd end up doing. Let's see if we can get a bit of bit of style going here. Backflip. Oh, that was clean. Let's slow it. Let's go in third person. Let's slow down. Look at that. Perfect. Oh, I've just absolutely greased it. I feel like I am going to have to go into third person every now and then just to uh, try and clip some cool bits. I'm going to go for this once more. It's going to go absolutely horrifically, I have a feeling, but let's give it a go. Yikes. No, it's just, there's no chance. You you can't keep traction on the ramp at all, which is a bit of a shame. It would be nice or quite cool if that was replaced with a dirt jump. I know that it's a, obviously it's a replica as well. It's, it's going to be a ramp IRL. Just for the sake of it working in game, it would be quite cool if it was a bit more a bit more doable. A little bit steezy up and over this bad boy. Slam on the brakes. I'm not sure what you could do through this section to make it just look a bit more entertaining. Because it just does feel like a normal, almost like Supercross section. And it's part of me just wants to race it and hit it as, as fast as I can. Get steezy, look over to the side. God damn it. It always makes me feel like I'm in like a GoPro camera footage when I do a whip and look over to the rear end of my bike. There's, oh, there's a video one that Justin Barsha done a long, long time ago oh, from a GoPro camera. He kind of hits this massive whip, looks over his rear fender in the air. It's just oh, it's so nice. So silky smooth. We jump over here. Let's experiment with these other lines here as well. So we get a yar yeet up to there. Can I transfer? Oh, land it. Land it. Break. Break, 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 break. So... It's possible. There's a there's different uh, different line ideas dotted around here. Uh, I think there's one or two jumps that aren't part of the quote unquote main course as well that I'll have to try and discover and look around a little bit. Something that I want to do is I want to get like a full clean lap in, like a full clean run of the track, just so you can see what a nice flowy lap looks like. I don't think it'll be particularly steezy by any means as in like not loads of backflips not getting completely upside down but i think it'd be really nice and satisfying just to tie a whole lap of the place together to really show you what it's all about so that's what i'm going to do now i'm not going to talk for it because I, I think i probably actually have to concentrate quite a lot but hopefully what you're going to see next is just a full smooth lap of me riding this place So that's only actually taken me 
about three attempts to get that good run going. And so it's actually quite a an easy track to learn overall, I'd say. A lot of the jumps make sense in terms of their scaling. There's one or two that I think are a bit of a stretch, even on a 450. So if you are going to play this yourself, then definitely stick to the big bikes. Uh, I think a 250, whilst the jumps are doable, probably wouldn't give you the most level of fun that you could be having and when you have bikes like this like a very nice looking axel hodges slaco replica why would you want to do anything else i think this is uh, definitely the way forward so i've been having a little bit of a look around seeing if i can kind of get the neurons firing in the brain see if i can think of any like transfer lines but for the most part i think a lot of it's quite self-explanatory and i remember there was one line that I saw appear on my, I think it was my Instagram reels at one point, like a while back. And it might have been, imagine, this imagination, it might have been a different iteration of it, like a different layout. But there was one absolutely huge, huge send, like disgusting amount of hang time. I want to say like 200 foot or so jump. And it might have been on here, it might not, but I can't for the life of me kind of get my, my brain working to figure out where it may have been. But overall, I think, it's really really good and you can tell that the time has been put into it to make it all flow nicely like the transitions on the jumps are really really good that's something that especially back in the sim days used to be really really noticeable on games is the transition from like the jump face to the floor sometimes it can be a little bit jagged which unsettles the bikes a bit but this one's really nice and smooth and flowy and i don't as I can't think of anything negative to say about it. I'm just, I'm very, very excited to see if I can throw, like, Charlie and Rum, for example, on this and get, like, some whip trains going. So I'm I'm not the biggest free roam guy in the world, as you well know. I would put myself probably in the, the lower half. I imagine there's people that have probably only had this game a couple of months that are better free riders than me. Like, like that, for example. <laughs> Didn't even time it well or get steezy whatsoever. And it's one of the things I think you... You get out what you put in, and you get good at what you practice. I love watching people do things that I can't do. Or I love watching people that are better than me at something. So anytime I see these massive free ride edits go up, I usually have a little bit of a look, because I just I find the stuff in there really impressive. I know that it's all seamlessly edited it together to make it like it's a smooth one take. I know that there was probably hours and hours and hours just spent on getting one jump right. But it's the whole editing process as well that's really, really impressive for me. There's a couple of jumps in here that are perfect for flipping. And I really, really wish in this game that you could do proper front flips as well as back flips. Because for whatever reason, I'll, I'll show you on the next jump actually. The game stops you halfway through the rotation. So if I try and lean forwards and slam on the rear brake here. You see what I mean? It just kind of, it kind of coasts. And if you do it even more violently than that, you'll get kind of like perfectly upside down like 180 degrees round so your head's facing the floor and then it won't uh, it won't let you go any further it kind of stops you there and locks you in position and sometimes brings you back so whilst we have all these weird and wonderful aspects of this game for the most part it works quite well it's very very intuitive uh, I should probably mess around in the actual third person a little bit just to fully see what these whips look like from a different perspective it kind of messes up my muscle memory a bit because I'm used to bringing whips back in first person and knowing what that looks like. When I'm in third, I, I'm so focused on getting the bike out and getting it hanging out sideways for a long time that a lot of time I end up not being able to bring it back round or I'll bring it back but the bike will still be kind of sideways and I'll get like an instant front end tuck. So I think for me, first person around this whole course is the way to go each of their own everyone's very very different and i'm very very excited for you guys to be playing this and hopefully put out some good content and good videos try and make some good interesting lines see if there's anything new and creative that you can come up with see what jumps you can get going and i hope you've enjoyed the video the track should be out today at the point that you're seeing this i have been informed that it's coming out on saturday so keep an eye out for it and then yeah i think i think that'll do it for me overall it's enough of me making tracks look bad i can't free ride i, I do try my best but I'm only human. Don't put the blame on me. <laughs> I swear that's like the second video in a row I've used that reference, but uh, that'll do it for me. If you enjoyed, please drop a like, subscribe to the channel if you're new. I would greatly appreciate it. Have a lovely rest of the day, whatever it is you're up to, and I'll catch you in the next video. Peace.